I mean, it was a good day. We, we got a lot of young guys that, that just showed up and um, just trying to get them to go at the the pace and the urgency that we we expect out of those guys has been a little bit of a challenge. Um, you know, we did a lot of meeting yesterday. Um, you know, it's just a whole different atmosphere, whole different world to a high school freshman when he steps on a college campus. So we're we're battling that somewhat, but the old guys seem to pick up where they left off from spring practice. Um, had a lot of energy. We looked good. We played fast um, for the most part of practice. But again, there's a lot of teaching, um, a lot of, hey, where do I go? How do I do this type of things going on right now, um, which is expected for the first day. But all in all, um, I'm excited. It's a good day. We got a lot of good players on the team. We just got to find out what they do best. Part of that teaching is uh, making sure they know how to last these 22 or so days before the first game of the season. Talk about how you train them with that. that. Uh, well, we don't do two a days. We, you know, we just do one a days and we do a little jog through at night to prepare them for the next practice. So um, we come out in the morning and, um, and they got plenty of time to recover and, um, and, and we don't practice very long. I mean, we practice about an hour and 40 minutes. So um, when you do that throughout the course of 20 or 17 practices of camp, um, you tend to be pretty fresh when camp's over with. Maybe a running back, Pokey, Marcus, you've got a lot of good guys you can give the ball to. They seem excited about the opportunities that have come yeah, up. Yeah, well, you know, Marcus has been doing well, um, Pokey and Jalen, and then um, been real pleased with Roman Clay. Um, he he had did some really good things today, transfer from Kent State. Um, and then we got some young guys that are in the mix. But, um, you know, after day one, those are the guys that kind of stood out to me without having already watched the film. Talk to me a little bit about just what it's going to be like for you guys at the start of the season with the fresh faces. I, I, I mean, it's it's a new year. And well, we've scaled back on some of the, the installs that we were going to do just because we're going to rely on so many new players. You know, we lost 22-something seniors last year, um, and, you know, that's a lot to lose, and that was a big class, and we knew I knew that time was going to come at some point. I've been trying to even them out, but I knew we had that one big class that we signed my first year here. Um, so those guys are gone, so we're going to rely on a lot of guys. Our deal as coaches, we got to be able to have enough in to play a game, but also we got to find out in a hurry, first of all, who can do it and what can they do so that come game time we're doing what we do best. Would you say that this is a summer camp with 18 days to go that's rife with competition, not only at the wide receiver level, but quarterback level, running back level, secondary? Uh, oh, I would, I would say that um, pretty much at every position there's a, a battle going on. Um, you know, the one thing that we are thin, we're thin on the lines. Mm -hmm. We were thin in the spring. We've, we've increased that depth a little bit, but not to where we want it to be. Um, you know, we, we had a few guys that we were we were, um, you know, we're, we're still trying to work on to recruit here, so hopefully we can get a few more guys in here before then to camp. But um, right now, that's probably the least depth position that we have on both sides of the, the, the line of scrimmage. We'll talk about quarterback a little bit later, believe okay. it or not. But talk about uh, the guys trying to replace Walter. They seem excited about it. They seem like they're they're going to be able to fill in. Uh, they were even joking about you know how many balls they're going to catch. Hopefully 60, 70. But they are all bought into the program of trying to become a guy for you. Guys. Well, they're they're all really good players. And um, the the thing about it is you don't replace a Walter Powell. I mean that guy. He he was a he was just a fantastic player. Um, but but you can replace him. Um, with, with, with a lot of depth and, and you can have a lot of good players out there and that's what I feel like we have. I feel like we have a lot of really good receivers um, and, and usually when one big time guy leaves, the ball tends to get spread out more. So I expect um, those guys to catch a lot of balls. Um, I would be surprised if one guy got the bulk of the load like um, Walter did last year. Now, I'm not saying that won't happen. I'm just saying I don't expect it that away. And they're also excited. You know, he got drafted in the sixth round. They know that somebody's going to come down and take a look at them, uh, which benefits everybody in the program. Well, it does. You know, we got Walter with the Cardinals. Uh, Marcus Harris is with the Giants right now, two receivers that have done well and came from Murray State. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you go. If you're a good player, the pro scouts are going to find you. I mean, their job's to go to every school in their area, um, all 32 teams, and, and, and find the guys that can help them win at that level. So, um, But we have had some success at the receiver position, so that always bodes well. I want to talk a little bit more about Marcus and, and Pokey. They seem to be really, really excited about the opportunity to be the one-two guys. I, I mean, do you see them continuing to stay that way? Uh, what do you see out of them that really brings a dynamic part to your offense? Um, well, both of them got good vision. They got good speed. Um, they're tough runners. 
Um, now, whether they end up being the one and two guy then to camp, I don't know. Right. But right now, they came out of spring at one and two, so they started at one and two. Um, but they're both good guys. They work hard, and um, we'll just see what happens. All right. Okay.